Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, in this video ay pag-aralan natin kung paano ba mag-compare ng numbers ano, using the number line. Ano. So kung hindi pa kayo familiar sa number line, pwede nyo i-click yung link sa ibaba uh, pointing to the uh, video on introduction to number line. Now, um, meron tayong dalawang tasks dito, no? comparing negative 1 and negative 4. And also, the second task, comparing 0, negative 2, and positive 3. Pero bago yan, ay uh, magkakaroon mo tayo ng konting discussion regarding the number line. So, pag tayo ay nasa number line, kung maalala ninyo dun sa, kung, or kung napanood na ninyo yung mga previous videos, may sinasabi tayo na positive direction, ano? Pag papunta sa kanan, or papunta sa positive direction, anong nangyayari sa mga numbers, no? ang mga numbers ay nag increase no? Increasing. On the other hand, pag pumunta naman sa kaliwa, ano nangyayari, no? Ano nangyayari sa mga numbers? The numbers are decreasing, di ba? So, decreasing. So, anong implication nito, no? Ibig sabihin nito, pag meron kang dalawang numbers on the number line, since increasing pag papunta sa kanan, yung nasa kanan mo ay mas malaki sa, mas malaki kaysa sa nasa kaliwa mo. Or one way of saying it is that, this is the, sorry, this is the less than sign. Ano? One way of saying it is that uh, the number on the left is less than number on the right or the other way around is the number on the right is greater than the number on the left. Okay? So, yun lang, I think yun lang yung dapat nating tandaan kung tayo ay nag-compare ng numbers using the number line, no? Parang pinaka-general pinaka statement dito is A is greater than B if A is on the right of B. No? So, pag nandito yung A, pag nasa kanan siya ng B, mas malaki yung A kaysa sa B. No? I think that's the thing that you have to remember if you want to compare numbers on number line. Okay, so siguro tignan natin yung task, no? yung first task. So, una, ilocate muna natin yung negative 1 at negative 4 sa number line. So, ito yung negative 1. Sorry. This is negative 1 and this is negative 4. Gamit tayo ng kulay na para mas madali. So, this is negative 1 sa number line. This is negative 1. And, nasa lang negative 4. Nandito, ano? So, sino ang nasa kanan? No? Ang nasa kanan natin ay negative 1. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung nasa kanan or yung negative 1 kaysa sa negative 4. So, pwede natin sabihin na negative 1 is greater than negative 4. Okay? Ano pang another way of saying it? Or, paano naman pag negative 4 naman yung nauna natin? Negative 4 is less than negative 1. Okay? So, kung naalala nyo, nung kayo elementary ay tinuruan kayo ng greater than or less than symbol, ano? Yung greater than nakaharap ay yung symbol lagi siyang nakaharap dun sa mas number na mas malaki. So since nakaharap siya dito, si Pacman no kakainin niya yung malaki no, yung Pacman na uh, computer game. So kakainin niya yung mas malaki, ibig sabihin mas malaki yung negative 1. Is sa negative 4, mas malaki yung negative 1 sa negative 4. Pero ang basa, this is greater than pag nakaharap sa kaliwa, so negative 1 is greater than negative 4. Pag nakaharap naman sa kanan is less than. Pag left to right ang basa mo. Pag left to right, negative 4 is less than negative 1. 
Okay, let's have the second task. No? Pwede na siguro natin to tanggalin. Ano? Okay, basta tandaan lang natin kung ano yung nasa kanan, yun ang mas malaki. Let's have zero. Again, magka-color code tayo para mas madali. Let's have two and oh sorry, negative two and positive three. Okay? So, nasaan ang positive 3? Nandito siya, no? It's positive 3. And then, meron tayong negative 2. Saan ang negative 2 natin? This one. Negative 2. And then, we have 0. Okay, so tatong number siya na, no? So, kung i-compare nyo itong dalawang to, yung 0 at 2, ano masasabi natin? Negative 2 is mas maliit siya kasi nasa kaliwa siya. Sabi natin kanina, pwede nasa kanan, mas malaki, di ba? So, it's less than 0. Pag dito naman, 0 naman tsaka 3, 0, Sorry. 0 is less than positive 3. Hmm? Or, kung gusto nyo naman, kung negative 2 naman tsaka 3, um, nasa kanan pa rin yung 3. So, therefore, negative 3 is greater than negative 2. Or, sorry, positive 3 is greater than negative 2 or negative 2 is less than negative 3. Or kung gusto nyo naman, dito tayo magsimula. Kung napapansin nyo, uh, nagsimula tayo sa negative 2, and then 0, and then 3. So, pakanan siya. Pagpakaliwa naman, from, from the right to left, from right to left, we have positive 3 is greater than, sorry, is greater than 0. And zero is greater than negative two. Negative two. Mahirap yung mahirap ito madaming kulay, no? kasi kailangan natin magtagal. But anyway, mas kita siya. No? So, yung statement na ito, actually, pwede natin siyang gawing isang statement, no? So, pwede natin siya sabihin negative 2 is greater, is less than 0 is less than 0 and less than, and 0 is less than positive 3. Or, Kung gusto nyo naman, pa from, from right to left tayo, so magiging positive 3, nahin muna natin yung numbers para madali, 0 and 2, negative 2, sorry. So negative 3 is greater than 0, no? and 0 is greater than negative 2. So yung dalawang statements na ito, pwede natin lagyan ng ands, Pwede natin siyang gawing isang uh, inequality or isang statement, no? Yung dalawang statements na ito. Okay, so, so far yan yung ating um, comparison of uh, numbers using the number line. Ang susunod natin i-discuss ay absolute value, no? Um, para makatanggap kayo ng mga videos natin, uh, be updated by subscribing or uh, subscribing using the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.